Fact of the day. Fact of the day. Hello, hi, and welcome to Fact of the Day with me, Mark Lotsu, the naked mole rat. Firstly, they're neither moles nor rats. They're more related to porcupines and guinea pigs, but the naked porcupine guinea pig doesn't sound quite as cool. Or does it? They're found in the Horn of Africa, so predominantly live in places like Somalia and Ethiopia and Kenya. They are one of only two mammal species that are eusocial. Eusocial means kind of like insects. You know how insects, you've got the, the queen, and then you've got the workers, and you've got the soldiers. These are one of only two mammal species that does this. The other mammal species is another type of mole rat, obviously. The queen isn't born the queen. You have to fight your way up to become queen of the colony. And the colony can range in numbers anywhere from 20 to 300 mole rats, NMRs, naked mole rats, and all of the worker naked mole rats are celibate. Their underground network of tunnels and chambers can be the size of six football fields. Huge. They can live for up to 30 years and have never been documented as ever having cancer, ever. Their skin cannot detect pain as it lacks the neurotransmitter called substance P, which helps to relay the information from your skin to your central nervous system. They don't have it, so they don't feel pain in their skin. Cool, but most impressive, most recent finding is they can survive for up to 20 minutes without oxygen, without any oxygen at all. They can survive for five hours at an oxygen level so low that humans would die. And like I say, 20 minutes without oxygen, a mouse can only survive about 20 seconds without oxygen. The naked mole rat, 20 minutes. How do they do it? They basically become a plant. They don't like turn into a tree or anything, but they use the same chemical pathway that plants use. So, you know, they do all the classic things. They slow down the pulse rate, slow down the breathing rate, slow down their movement all to conserve as much oxygen as they can. In all other mammals, their brain cells use glucose to respire. That means to release energy. So they metabolize, they break down. Metabolize means breaks down. They break down the glucose to release the energy in order for the brain cells to be able to function. The naked mole rat can use fructose for respiration to release energy in its brain cells. And they can do this anaerobically, so they do this without any oxygen. Plants are the only other organisms on the planet that can use fructose as an energy source when there is no oxygen available. So this actually works out quite well for them because if you're in these big tunnels, these chambers with hundreds of mole rats, there's not gonna be much oxygen there. So you need to be able to have a way for your brain to be able to survive in very low or no oxygen levels at all. So what can we learn from them? Obviously, we're investigating the fact that they don't get cancer. We're investigating how they can feel no pain on their skin. In terms of the fructose, they have a pump which pumps the fructose into their brain cells. We have a pump for fructose, but it's only in our intestines. If we could somehow incorporate that into our brain cells, we be able to do the same thing. If you have a stroke and you can't get the oxygen to your brain, therefore you can't release the energy. If you had fructose pumps in the cells in your brain, you'd be able to get the energy into your brain cells. So some alteration of human cell metabolism could save damage to critical organs during times when there's not enough oxygen available. So well done, naked mole rats, very well done. Thanks for watching. Love you, bye, love you, bye, love you, bye.